Hello creative designers and welcome to this story. My name is Peter. Hello to this story. We're just going to see how we can be able to add a WooCommerce refund system or an exchange system. This is a system that will allow you to just refund customers once the order has been done or maybe an order was not delivered and was paid. This is the system that will help us to, uh, to assist on that. It also offer us a request support. One can request a support for an order. This is how it's going to work. Uh, these are just an order is just created for the purpose of the tutorial. Yeah, uh, for the request of the purpose, uh, for the for the request of the support for the order, I'll just show you how you can be, be even be able to customize these buttons here. You can just give them a name, uh, maybe other name. And this is how we're going to work for the request to sub uh, request for support for an order you will just have this uh way that one can be able to communicate with a shop uh with the shop manager or the admin of the website and one can communicate to, about the order maybe say something like hi and one can also uh, be able to attach a file here i just going to show you how you can be able to allow that it just takes some few seconds but uh, to just send once the order has been sent, to have the message history, when the admin get the or uh, the message, he can be able to respond to it. And let's just get uh, to it here. I just go to orders here. Let me just get the order number. So it's about this one here. Both of you, both the admin and uh, the customer, will get an email. So once you have it, you can just say, you can just offer the response. And once it has been sent. The customer on the other end will be able to see the response here. You can see we have the response on, on that. The other thing that we're going to learn on this story is how to add this request to uh, refund. On this request to refund, one can be able to just request for a refund using this form. Uh, they will be, all that they are just required to do is enter their bank detail manually here. And then they have, I just go show you how you can add all these subjects here or those subjects that are just going to be selected upon uh, selecting the reason for delivery. And the other thing, they just have to uh, fill in the refund reason. And from there, they can be able to attach some few files. Uh, they can be able to attach images, for our country, I just added a maximum of five, but you can be able to add more. They should be a PNG or a JPEG extension. And then they only have to submit the form and just start. They'll be able to, uh, and just start. You as an admin, you're just going to process the refund and refund the cash back or depending on how you just go and sort it out. That's the story for today. So the first thing we just need to do, we need to get the, to the dashboard and on the dashboard menu, we need to scroll to where you have the plugin and on Hofa, we have these three, three options. Select the second option because we need to install a new plugin. The plugin is called WooCommerce Lay Fund and Exchange for WooCommerce. Uh, it's called Litan or Litan, Litan Lay Fund and Exchange for WooCommerce, uh, which is going to allow us to allow our e-commerce website to uh, to have the all that it has just so many features so it has more than it has more than 3000 active installation 73 people have approved it uh, it has uh, almost 4.5 last updated just 18 hours ago and we just we just that all we just need to do is reinstall and after successful installation we need to activate the plugin so from there, now we just need, we have been directed to this page here. I just need to skip this for now. I'm not just going to fill on that. So, but if you get this and you, and if you get to this and you just want maybe to set up here, uh, if you're not being directed to this page and you are just directed to the dashboard, you can just come here to WP Swing and uh, you can just click here or else you can come to WooCommerce and you just click on this button. It will just land to the same, same page we are. From there, we just need to enable this here. The first one is just going to enable is the refund. This button here, let me just show you. This button, let me just get back to my account here and I show you. Uh, here we have uh, the request refund. 
this one we have enabled it and we also enable the support here and we also enable the tracking and we show bank detail for manual refilling when you just come to here yeah we have um we have this manual and all that so many other features here so we just need to enable all of them after that now we need to uh, customize each we need to set up each and every one of them so we need first of all to set up for the refund here you just uh, which page do you want to hide this refund button the refund button you can decide on which page you just don't want it to be uh, to be shown you can maybe hide on that page and whichever the page you, do, you don't want to to show on but they have only just suggested on these three pages so i'll just hide on that one enable show my uh, money we, we enable that we enable the attachment remember i just showed you on uh, here one can be able to attach files on here yeah we're just going to enable that and then from there we're also going you can just be able to limit on how many attachments that can be added if you just leave it it will just take a maximum of five attachment but you can be able to add as many as you can depending on how you just wish it to happen so i just maybe say three or five i just leave it five five are enough for me then from there uh, we just customize now the leave part button text this one here when you just come back here we have this one request a refund you can just customize and add your own text so I say request refund. I just leave it the way it is for now. I just say request refund like that. You know, and that thing we just need to enable the refund reason. Yeah, here, this one here, and we just go now to add these drop down messages here. So here now comes the way you can just be able to add it. So I just say maybe damage on delivery for you to earn a new line all you just need to do is add a comma and a space and just give another reason maybe uh spoiled malfunction and all that let me just add two features uh two two reasons with that i just have added three reason i have just added the reason so when you just come here they'll be just like this drop down here once you just add a new line once you just add this the reason you just need to do is to add a comma and you add a space there then from there you add an you enable rules uh refer rules and you can add your rules here maybe you see referred is done uh not done for order more than order 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 more than four days or seven days order uh leaflet cannot be in all that you can just add them that customer can be able to read all those all your rules here and then after that you just save the setting then from there we just go to an rma policy on here we're just going to add those fee those rules that are going to govern on if you're just going to if the customer is going to get the button for the refund or not so for the first one let me just show you let me just try to explain it in uh, in an action so here we have a refund we say in case maximum day you can choose uh the reason here the first one we say maximum days is greater than so refund if uh is less than seven days that whatever you have just added the rule is saying the refund will only be available or uh, uh the, the refund will be available if the order is less than for seven days you can say less or equal to seven days then from here we can just add another rule and say refund will be available if the order status is equal to complete so you cannot be able to refund until the order is complete so you find that this button not be available before this button for refund will not be available if the order status is not completed then from there we can just be able to add and more on this they have just uh added they have only have these three parameters you can choose to and you can say maybe equal to or not equal to depending on how you can just add the parameter but i just wanted you to get 
I just wanted to you to get on how you can just be able to add RMA policy and all that. After that, just save the setting after you set all these. Then from there, we have the order messages. So we just need to enable the attachment. The order messages are this one here. This one. And you can enable, we have just enabled the attachment. And we also need to add this button, just give it a name here. We say request uh, support or instant support. You can just name it the way you just want uh, to name it. After that, just save the setting. The other thing I just want to show you is that you can be able to customize all those emails that customers do get once they have requested for the either of the refund or for maybe for the support and all that. So we just need, if you want to configure the email messages for the email, just click on this button here and we'll be just directed to this. And here you can, we have the RMA, uh, accept email. You can just manage it and uh, we just try one here. I just click manage here and you can be able to customize here yeah, and all that heading and all that so from there you can just get back go to another one customize all those emails that you just need to, to customize for the all the plugin so they have this RMA so customer email that is not applicable because for yeah, so the, there are these RMA, these ones here, one, two, three, four, there are four of them. You can just be able to customize. All you just need to do is manage and you can be able to customize on that end. And then from there, um, let me just get back here. Then from there, if you're a developer and you need if you're a developer, you can use these hooks and uh, you can use these ones. So from there, we have the API setting. If you need the API key, all you just need to do is enable and click generate API key here. And so when they are generated, you can be able to use them uh, with the service that you just want. So that's the tutorial for today. I hope you did learn something. I hope you have learned something out of this tutorial. If you did learn something out of this tutorial, hit the thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. Till next time. Thank you.